So we got Marcus Valor, two shots, dead on scene, and none of the neighbors heard a thing. That's about all I've got so far. Mrs. Elwood stated she saw a black van with a license plate G13VRL speeding away. Seems he was killed before his body was dumped here. It explains the lack of blood surrounding the area. But why here? We're in the middle of a neighborhood in the broad daylight. To send a message. You got information on this? I got a couple drug charges that could be dropped. I ain't got time for this. Can somebody get him downtown? All right, all right, all right. First one's free. That license plate you're talking about? That G13 stands for Gang 13. Gang 13. Haven't heard from them in six months. That doesn't mean anything, though. You got more than a hunt on this gang? Something more? Some useful information? The ghost gang isn't much to go off of. Yeah, his cousin used to be leader of the G13s. You have a name? Yeah. Donovan Gerald. I got three drug charges. No, you dumb. The name of his cousin? All right. All right. We'll drop you three drug charges. And 12 parking tickets. 12 par- OK. We'll get rid of your 12 parking tickets. All right, well, he goes by the name of Snake. Or he did when he was in the gang. That doesn't help us. His real name? Actually, I think that's about all we're gonna need. What, you're just gonna go off of his word? Thanks, kid. You can get him out of here now. Hey, don't forget about those drug charges, all right? It's Donovan, D-O-N-O-V. You know something I don't know? Remember that kid that went undercover with G13? That actor that uh, the police hired? You know, back in, what was it, 2018? What was his name? Luke, Luke Trace. No clue. Well, he went undercover for two years as their leader. He was helping the police take him down from the inside. And then he just walked away from it. Police never heard from him again. This is something big. Yeah. Or he's having us chasing our own tails with a pointless story, so we drop his charges. Found this in the victim's sock. Uh, do you want me to put it with the other evidence? No, I'll take that. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. We got an address. Looks. One way to find out. You coming? I can't. Nancy wants me home by three to pick up the kids, or I am a dead man. Can't argue with that. Well, guess we could have her picked up for threatening a police officer. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I'll call you later, see what you found out. All right. Think it over. Okay. Later. Bye. Jeez, hold on one sec. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh. Uh, morning, officer. What can I help you with? Morning. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. And it's detective. And? Are you Luke Trace? Sadly, yes, that's me. Let me guess. Here to arrest me from running from active duty. I knew this was coming. I should have moved. No, that's not why I'm here. Not fully. Well, all right. Now come on in. Would you like a bowl of cereal? No, thank you. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. Are you sure you don't want any? No, I'm good. All right. Listen, Luke. So how, how did you find me anyway? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm curious. I clearly thought I hid myself pretty well. Your cousin Marcus. We found the address on him. And what, Marcus just handed it over to you guys? Seems a little odd. We found it on his body. He was shot twice. That, uh... That sucks. Marcus was a great guy. You, you know, he was the only one who knew my secret while I was in the gang life. So, do you know who shot him? Not yet. But we think it was someone in G13. No. No, no, there's no way. No, no one from the gang would shoot one of their own. They're, they're tight, you see. They have so much respect for one another, it's crazy. Maybe things weren't so great once you left. Left? <laughs> Gave up, some would say. Whatever you want to call it, I had to get out of there. Can I ask you something off the record? If you pull yourself a bowl of cereal, yeah. <laughs> mm. 
You were in for two years. Why didn't you take them down on your way out? Two years in the gang life earns you a ton of respect. So much respect that they became my brotherhood. I just couldn't live with myself if I took them all down. So I got out of there before it was too late for all of us. But okay, but why, why are you here? Okay, my cousin was shot. You think it's someone from my old gang, and yet you're here eating cereal with me. Look, there's no easy way to say this. I can't get anywhere near that gang to see if your cousin was shot by any of them. Okay. And you might be right. It might not be any of them. But the police can't get anywhere near that gang. So, I was thinking... No. No what? I know what you're going to say, and there's no way I'm going back in there. Listen, I loved my cousin, but I cannot do that to myself again. Look, I need you to. No! I'm an actor. Don't you get it? Every day I had to wake up to a life that wasn't mine and pretend I was someone completely opposite of who I actually am. I had to live in the moment and not think twice about any bad decision that came my way. I live with regrets. I get nightmares most nights. You know, the only reason I took that job was to help my career. I thought, you know, if I could really pull this off, you know, become the actual gang member and have people believe me, I could have any role I wanted. I could skip right past the audition lines. But guess what? It messed me up more than it helped me. I mean, look around you. I live in a dump, my wife left me, and I still keep this on. Don't you want to help find your cousin's killer? Yeah, I want you to find his killer. Look, if you help us, we will drop all charges against you. 24 hours in, that's all we need from you. 24 hours, and you will have your old life back. This seems like a much bigger deal than just my cousin, especially for what you're asking me to do. We're trying to help the city with this gang problem. We're getting two to three murders a week. This is just getting to be too much, Luke. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, the only deal I would take is, like you said, you drop all my charges, but you don't arrest anyone from the G13 gang that, that is innocent of this crime, this murder crime. And don't go digging into them afterwards. Look, I can't promise that. That is way above my pay grade. Hey, listen, that's the only deal I'll take. You leave them alone, you drop my charges, and you have me for 24 hours. But that is it. That is all my body can handle. After that, I walk away. And you never find me again. Okay. Okay. What will it take to get you in character? Well, a haircut for one. Probably gonna need some permanent markers to tattoo myself up again. And oh, and once we're there, a little time alone. All right, here's where we're gonna park. How much time are you gonna need? Five minutes. Oh, and officer, your new name is now Drums. You're my assistant. They can't know that you're police. If they even sense that you're a cop for a second, you're a dead man, and I ain't getting in the middle of it. It's detective. Whatever you need, man. Oh, Drums, once I get into character, it takes a lot to snap out of it. I won't be the person you met today. You can't treat me like Luke. You can't even ask me questions about Luke's life. You need to treat me like Snake. And Snake is not someone to be messed with. Just keep one thing in mind. I don't know Snake.
What are you doing standing there, drums? Walk us to the house. Yes, sir. What's my name? Luke. Snake. That's right. Don't ever disrespect me by calling me something other than my name. Let's go. Glad to see this place is still intact. Password. Veer left. Steer right. That's an old password. Beat it. JC, it's Snake. Open the door. Snake? Where have you been? Business that doesn't concern you. Open the damn door. I can't. Hold on. It's Snake. He wants in. What do I do? You open the door. Now, JC! Brothers? Don't give me that brother's BS. Where have you been? We thought you were dead. I apologize. Most of me was, but I'm back now. There's not a lot to come back to, Snake. Since you've been gone, it's all gone to hell. And who's he? This is Drums. Smells like a cop to me. Excuse me? You not say the C word fluently under this roof? You question me? Nah, no disrespect. But I do. And you are? I'm the new leader of Gang 13. And you have not answered the question. Where were you? I was laid up trying not to die. If it hadn't been for drums here, I would have. There was a hit and run. Someone hit me with their car and left me for dead. I didn't know who it was or who to trust, so I ran to keep you all safe. So respect. Yeah, respect. <laughs> I've killed so many men, it'll make your head spin. Respect that. Yeah? You think killings will earn you respect? You think because you've killed more men than you can count, that's what deserves respect? You have a responsibility to keep these men alive. That is your job. That is what earns you respect. Don't tell me what my job is, you skinny white piece of trash. In fact, you need to get the hell out of my house. I don't need no crazy motherfucker. <laughs> now you listen to me. I gave you a chance to respect me and you didn't. That shows your character. That shows what kind of respect you deserve. You don't want to know why no one died in my watch while I was here? Because I knew how to take care of my people. Disrespect me again, and I will end you. Do you understand? Good. <clears throat> so what the hell happened to my cousin? Word on the street, it was one of you. You found him? How is he? He's dead. Damn. Sorry, bro. Moment of silence from the Brotherhood, please. Appreciated. So what the hell happened? He was kidnapped last night by Craig. Craig, you sure? We all saw him. He barged in here with three men. Shot at Big Mike and I. Took him. Said he wanted revenge. Took Jason too. Kid Jason? Damn. Well, what does he want? What could you guys have possibly done to make him take and kill one of our own? He was looking for you. Me? Why? Said that when you came looking for your cousin's killer, I should tell you to go meet him at the yard off Bocho Street. Well, what does he want with me? Probably pissed that you left, but he didn't say. Probably did all that killing to get your attention. I'm going alone. Like hell you are. BM, you need to back off. Hey, we're brothers. We all go. I've never risked getting you guys hurt before. 
and I ain't starting today. It's not up to you anymore, Snake. We respect you. You know that. But you haven't been back here for over six months, dog. We do it different now. A new way. No more individual. Now, majority rules. Everyone stand up. So if any of you don't want to get revenge for his cousin, sit your asses down. Because then we don't need your candy asses anyway. Let's do this. Fine. Green light. Chris, call Craig, set it up. Hey Arturo, you still have rides? <laughs> Do I have rides? Hell yeah, I got rides. They say crabs in the barrel hold each other down. But the ones who make it out, do they come back around? Most who think they made it out just end up in the pot, so simmer down. Keep it cool when the world is scorching hot. What's the price of suicide? I bet it cost a lot. Won't have my mother in the church and had an open box on the knees, yelling please till she make the passage rock. Soldiers on this corner. Gotta protect the block. So I sip my drink and smoke my weed and contemplate these constant dreams of vivid scenes of heaven. I was parked so far away. Cars ain't allowed on the deal. Too much sketchy things can go down. That's what we want. We don't want people using them to run away or use them as a weapon. Okay. You move on your call, Snake. Looks good. Ground's clear. Aerial's too distant for snipers. Green light. Let's go. Make it rain. Make it rain down low. Make it rain. Oh, make it rain. Glad you can make it, Snake. We were family. Why? See, you came along, Craig. Still got no friends, I see. Enough! Why are we here? I'll trust you I'll see things differently once you hear what I got to say. I ain't worried about it. Let Kid Jason go, and we'll continue talking. Nah, I don't think so. Snake, what are you... What are you gonna do, Snake? He'll do it, Craig. You know he will. I see you brought your pet with you. Even if I let Jason go, you still gonna kill me for killing your cousin. If not, then I will. You're not wrong. Fine. Shoot me then. Come on, Snake, take the shot. Oh, that's right, you won't shoot me. You wanna know why? Cause you're nothing but a damn actor. What's he going on about, Snake? What is this? Yeah, that's right. You heard me, BM. Snake's been lying to us for two years. He ain't no drug dealer from the South. He's an actor. He's been working with the police for two years. Snake? He's telling the truth. What? What? And the best part is, he's been working with the police for two years, telling them everything our gang's do, trying to take us down from the inside. Can't believe you. BM. Even wait. after you saved my brother from getting shot- And I would do it again! I'm not proud of what I did to you all, but you want to know why I left, BM? You want to know why I left, Craig? Because I got too damn close. Too close to the brotherhood we all had. It had been four months since my last check-in with the police, and I was supposed to check in weekly. The police, they never respected me. They didn't care what I did, as long as it meant pinning some petty crime on you and taking you all down. But what you guys showed me, the respect, the honor, the brotherhood, the family, I fell in love with that character. I became Snake. Why did you come back here then? Wait. So there was no hit and run? The police found my location during the G5 hideout. So I ran. I couldn't risk them finding me because if they did, then you were all done for and I couldn't risk that. For two years, I protected you. For two years, crime was at an all time low. For two years, I kept you safe. So I hid. See, now you all know. And your cousin Marcus, he knew? He knew. Yeah, he knew, the little traitor. So, what? What now? I'll tell you what now. 
Craig, you killed Marcus. What? Did y'all not just hear what I said? He's been working with the police for two years. He's probably wearing a wire right now. Yeah, I heard what he said. But cop or no cop, he kept us safe for two years. Our best times were with Snake. <laughs> His name's Luke! Give me the green light, Snake. I'm ready. Enough, BM. Put the gun down. Nah. Let me do it! BM, now. If you still have any respect for me at all, drop your gun. All of you. Craig? Now. You're not my boss no more. Craig, you already killed my cousin. Are you ready to pull the trigger on your whole gang? Fine, you're right. You were my friend. I ain't gonna pull the trigger on my own gang. Just you. JC, you had no right to do that. It's a flesh wound, Luke. Somebody give me some help! Snake, you're a terrible actor. Thanks, BM. I knew right from the beginning, it was all an act. Shoot, even I could act better than that. Some may even say, I'm a good actor. So what now? Now? Now I go back with them. You sure? I am. They need someone to keep them safe. Someone's got to keep them out of your hands, and honestly, they're not that bad of people once they do everything illegal. Well, if there's anything you need, you know you can always call me. The only thing I need right now is for you to get Craig to a hospital to keep him alive. No one's dying today. He'll be fine. Oh, and drums? You never found me. Detective. Found who? I be stuck in the moment, that depression on me. I know that life is a struggle, it just keep pressing on me. Trying to shed all these tears and put these blessings on me. Yeah, I'm married to the game, that's a matrimony. If I people in the projects, who's the scientist? Cause we've been getting killed for a minute, so with the sciences. Trying to get my kings to grow and build alliances. They laughing over there like hyenas, we on our lion ish. Trying to give a piece of the pie, I want the lion's share. Bow down, king of the jungle boy, the god is here. I've been hanging around here for a minute, still a heart is here. More thoroughbred and dedicated than any artist here. Just keep hope